What's happening guys? Your local Realize Man checking in and today I want to talk about breakups, heartache and how you can overcome those negative feelings with mindfulness, right? Now this video was inspired by this email I received from um, one of my subscribers. He said, I read your post on mindfulness and loved it. Thanks buddy. I was wondering if you had any specific mindfulness techniques for a heartache. I've just recently broken up with my girlfriend of three years and I'm feeling devastated. Okay, so our man here has broken up with his girlfriend and he's feeling devastated. So I'm gonna give you him and give you guys some tangible advice that you can work with that's really gonna help you kind of overcome those negative feelings you get when you break up with someone or when you're feeling heartache because it's probably one of the worst things you could feel in life that um, aftermath of a breakup or when you're, you know, f when you feel like shit, basically. And um, before I hop into um, the method of doing this, I'm going to provide you guys with some context about what I'm saying here. So we're going to talk about pain first and how this relates with the breakup issue. The other day I was eating steaks, right? Because I love steaks. I was eating steaks. I was just chomping down on it and I bit the crap out of my lip. I'm not sure you can see that, but I bit the shit out of my lip. Started bleeding everywhere. And what happened was I had to put salt on it because, as you know, like if you injure yourself, like have a wound it's good to put salt on it. it helps with the recovery what you might also know is when you put salt on a wound it hurts it stings like a bitch it kills right so this time when i was putting the salt on it i thought to myself you know what i'm gonna try apply some mindfulness to this try just analyze this pain without um associating myself with it so a lot of the times when we feel pain we kind of make a big deal with we, we cry we bring ourselves into it right so i was just trying to objectify the pain just feel for what it is just feel the sensation and see what um new insights i can gain from that so i did it i just felt the sensations felt the energy as i put the salt on the wound and it still stung like a bitch but it was nowhere near as much pain as if i had to associate with it so that's the same principle we're going to use here with your heartache or your loneliness or the feelings you feel after a breakup what you need to do is you need to kind of become like a scientist. You need to become like one of those bookworms, those nerds that are doing their doctorate paper on something. You've got to study yourself. You're going to observe these feelings when they come up, right? As if you're doing a research paper on it. So these feelings will come up and you need to slow everything down. This is what mindfulness is all about. It's about objectively analyzing everything without putting any judgments, slowing things down so that you can analyze them better. As I said before, as I like to say, before you can escape the trap, you need to analyze the trap. If you're trapped in a web or something, you need to see what you can do, then you get out, you don't just wiggle around. So you need to analyze the trap of these feelings that are coming up. And the way you do that is you really go deep into your body. So when you start feeling, you know, as you said, um, devastated, lonely, try see where you're feeling in your body. Are you feeling in your hands? Are you feeling in your head? Is your head gonna be heavy? Is it in your legs? Is it in your heart? Is it in your chest? Is it in your back? Where, where's this feeling coming from? In terms of your physiology is your heart rate going up what's happening in your body slow things down incredibly like really slow it down like you got those high speed cameras also observe what's going on in your thoughts what type of mental dialogue are you having what images are you recalling of are you remembering things you did in the relationship are you remembering the good times are you remembering the bad times you're remembering what are you thinking of certain judgments how she acted are you angry what what are you harboring kind of break everything down as much as you can and the process of breaking all these things down just analyzing what you're doing teaches you how to disassociate with those feelings so you're kind of like seeing yourself as someone who's observing from the outside right and this is how you're gonna get over the breakup because you're observing from the outside you don't associate the pain as much with yourself in the same way as when I observe the pain on my lip when I put the salt on it it's not as bad and it's a lot easier to um, it would be a lot easier for it to dissipate. Because a lot of times, we feel the aches of breakups, we feel the aches of loneliness because we keep going back. We keep making it something to do with us. We keep associating with our ego. It's like, oh, I shouldn't have done, um, she shouldn't have done that to me. Oh, how could she do that to me? Me, 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 I, I. We keep making it this bigger thing than what it has to be. Just associate, just feel the pain for what it is. Don't try to repress it as well. Don't try to repress it. A, lot, a big mistake that people make is they try to repress their emotions. They get angry with themselves for feeling these things. And they say, I shouldn't be feeling these things. And try to ignore the fact. The reality is we're humans. You're going to feel these things. Repressing it is not going to help. 
there's no way you're not going to feel it harder. You're going to feel it, but you can accelerate the recovery process using these mindfulness techniques. So repressing it doesn't work in the same way as if I told you not to think of Donald Trump riding a nuke while holding a cowboy hat falling down on North Korea. All right. Just me saying that probably had that fucking image in your head, the image of Donald Trump doing that. So when you tell yourself not to feel these emotions, you're kind of inviting them to come up again. You're kind of inviting those things to come up. So don't do that. Just objectively analyze it. Don't put any judgments. Everything in the world is neutral until we put a perception on it, until we label it as good or bad. See for what it is and slowly but surely you start to detach yourself from it and those feelings will dissipate much quicker, much quicker. Okay, that's one aspect of it. That's kind of like the inner game of getting over the breakup, getting over the heartache. Now I'm going to give you some more practical things you can do in the real world to get over it. You need to try to see this as an opportunity for you to better yourself. Recall back on the breakup or the relationship and see perhaps which areas you fell short in, right? Try to see them objectively. Don't put your subjective ego into it. Try to see perhaps maybe you are not the best communicator. Perhaps you let yourself go. You got complacent because you're in a relationship. You got fat, you stop going to the gym, you stop taking care of yourself. Maybe the things that initially made you attractive slowly started going away once you became comfortable. See these things and then get better. Work on yourself, right? This is a perfect time to work on yourself because you got that fire underneath your ass, you got that steam. Build your body up, work on your mind, see how you can be better for the next run and improve as a human being because of this. Get back on your mission because the guy who told me, about this relationship, when you break up from these relationships, the best thing you could possibly do as a man is focus on your mission. Use that extra stimulus, that extra energy to really drive your mission, all right? The girls will come later, another relationship will come if you work on yourself, if you keep grinding, if you do the mindfulness techniques, all this stuff will be good. Anyway, guys, that's the video. That's how you get over a breakup, but that's my way. Um, if you like that video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, because the engagement does help the channel. I'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace.